I'm going to tell you about Captain America from 1990. It's not a great movie. So in the 30s, the Italians and the Germans are experimenting on animals. This is a picture of a rat after they turned it into a stronger, faster rat that looks like a red skull. So they find an Italian boy down the street and they turn him into Red Skull. No, I thought Red Skull was German, but I guess I'm wrong or this movie's dumb. Time passes. In America, Steve Reeves has polio, and he's going off to war. I didn't know they sent people with polio off to war, but here he is with his mom, who looks about the same age. He says goodbye to his girlfriend, he says bye to his family, but instead of going off to war, it's a secret government plan underneath a cafe, through a wall, in an underground lab to turn him into Captain America. They shoot him with some light and things explode and bam, he's Captain America. They send him off to war immediately. They give him some weird looking outfit for no reason. They don't say why he has this blue outfit on. It's just what he has to wear. He goes after a red skull. He's immediately caught and strapped to a rocket that's going to hit the White House. There's a quick fight with the red skull and the rocket takes off. Meanwhile in America, this young boy is up way too late and mom's yelling at him saying go to bed but he sneaks out and goes to the White House to take a picture of it in the middle of the night and he sees Captain America strapped to the rocket and he's kicking the rocket so it goes off course and it misses the White House Captain America lands in some ice and some snow and he's frozen until the 90s turns out the boy who took a picture of the White House is the president now and Captain America unfrozen is walking around and for some reason there's some very stylish assassins from Italy who know that he's alive. Ned Beatty is the president's friend from childhood. Ned Beatty is looking for Captain America. The assassins are chasing him through the woods and almost get him, but Ned Beatty gets him just in time. And as they're driving away, Captain America says that he feels sick and needs to stop the car. Would you pull the car over, please? I think I'm going to be sick. What? Would you please pull over the car? I am going to get sick. Oh, okay, all right. Okay. Are you okay? You, you, yeah. So he makes his way back to California and he sees his old girlfriend who's older now and he's the same age but her husband is not having it so he hangs out with his could have been daughter not his daughter but it could have been they go to the secret lab where he was turned into Captain America now it's a ladies room and he breaks through the wall they go down into the lab to get the notebook of the woman who did both the Red Skull and the Captain America experiment. And the stylish assassins are on their tail. They find the notebook and the brave Captain America hides under the stairs as the stylish assassins are looking for him. And he sneaks out. Meanwhile, the president, the boy who took the picture of Captain America on the missile, is kidnapped. And Red Skull had some surgery done, so he's not really a Red Skull looking person anymore. So Captain America and his could have been daughter drive to Italy to find out more information to find Red Skull and to save the president. And as they're driving, Captain America pulls the same I feel sick thing with the could have been daughter. Could you pull over for a minute? I think I'm going to be sick. Captain America is car sick? I can't take you into danger, Sharon. That much at least I can do for Bernie. Thanks for your help. Thanks for my help. Open this door! Captain America goes and finds some more information, and she finds him again, and they're back together again. But this time, she ditches him, but she's immediately caught by some very bored, very stylish assassins. There's a fight in the castle where Red Skull is. Mr. President, 
Thanks. The final fight takes place on top of the castle. It looks like a perfume commercial or a watch commercial. Red Skull is some sort of bomb somewhere and he has some remote for it. Captain America pushes him off the edge of the castle with a shield. Are his ears real ears? I mean, look at those. On the side of his little cowl helmet thing, they look fake. Are those real? I don't know. I honestly don't know. All right, that's it real quick. That's Captain America 1990. Looking for a fun movie to watch. It is fun, but it sucks. All right.